Since that manuscript was written, we have made several changes. We have gotten away from using the distal femoral allografts for most patients except the very young patients where we're now using trabecular metal, acetabular components with a trabecular metal augment. Uh, so effectively using metal where we'd used allograft bone in the past. The trabecular metal augment that's in the shape of a distal graft will ingrow into the ileum just as the distal femoral allograft would. It provides a buttress support. It's held with three 6.5 um, cancella screws and it will provide initial support until ingrowth occurs in the cup. As far as the different options and knowing what is the best technique, I think we need long-term follow-up. Yeah, the study that we presented had 10-year follow-up, which is, is pretty, clinically pretty good, but you can see we had a 25% failure rate. Looking at the trabecular metal right now, we have a 0% failure rate, both um, clinically or radiographically for the type 3A defects, which sounds great, and it's very easy to say we should move 100% over to this technique. However, we don't know what this technique's, what's going to happen with this in 10 years from now. Now the difference with this technique, hopefully, is that once the cup ingrows, it's going to be ingrown for good, but we don't know that. And I think this issue of what the best technique is going to be, it's going to be tough to have this resolved until we get good long-term follow-up.